Hi friends, in this video we are discuss about gravity in direct access. First we see the meaning of gravity. Gravity under section 10, subsection 10. The gravity is a payment made by an employer to an employee in appreciation of past services rendered by the employee. The gravity is nothing but the employer pay the amount to the employee for his long and loyal services. It is received by an employee on his or her retirement. The gratuity is exempted up to certain limits depending upon the category of employee. Next, we see the tax treatment of gratuity. So based on the employee status, the employee will be classified into two categories. One is a government employee, another one is a non-government employee. The government employee means the amount received as a gratuity fully exempted. If the employee is a non-government employee, again the employee will be classified into two categories covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act, not covered under the Gratuity of Payment Act. So first one, government employee. The employee worked in central or state government or local authority. He is called as a government employee. The entire amount of gratuity received by an employee is fully exempted from taxes. That is, nothing will be added to the grass salary. Next, we see about the tax treatment of the employee if the employee is a non-government employee. Again, the non-government employee, will, the employee will be classified into two categories. Employees covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972, not covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972. First, we see the tax treatment for employee covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972. The taxable gratuity amount will be calculated. First, we take an actual gratuity amount received by an employee. Less exemption remaining will be taxable. The exemption limit will be calculated based on that following exemption limits. That is, the employee who are covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act the minimum of the following amount are exempted from the tax. So the minimum of the following means the whichever is less. The first one actual gratuity amount received. Second one 15 days salary for every year of completed services. Third one notified limit rupees 20 lakh. Notified limit means maximum limit rupees 20 lakh. 15 days salary refers. 15 days means 15 by 26. Salary refers basic salary plus dearness allowance enter. Enter means that are including for the service benefit plus commission. Every year of completed services, if the employee services above six months will be considered as in one year, below six months means ignored. Next, we calculated the taxable gratuity for employee not covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972. The actual gratuity amount received less exempted gratuity remaining will be taxable. Next we see how to calculate the exempted gratuity for employee not covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972. The exemption of the limit is above this whichever is less that is the minimum of the following amount. First one actual amount received that is actual gratuity amount received. Second one half month average salary for every year of completed service Third one, notify limit, that is a maximum limit of rupees 20 lakh. Note, half month average salary, average salary refers last 10 month average salary. Half means 1 by 2. For every year of completed services, the number of year completed services, the below 6 month or above 6 month will be ignored. So based on their employee status, is a government employee, either non-government employee, a the non-government employee means he is covered under the Gratuity Act or Payment of Gratuity Act or not covered under the Payment of Gratuity Act. So based on the that the employee taxables or gratuity exemptions limit will be desired. Thank you.